Oi, boys, welcome, welcome to another video in our multi-year career mode playthrough. We're back with some post NRL season action, and that is the Rugby League World Cup. So the team will be coaching in the World Cup. As you can see, will be Samoa, AKA Tor Samoa. So if you didn't know, you don't actually pick your own squad. The game will automatically pick a squad and you gotta make do with what you get. And this is our starting 13. So in the back five, we've got Jermaine Asako, David Nofoluma, Stephen Crichton, Joey Leilua, and Ken Malmalo. In the halves, we've got Anthony Milford, Jerome Luai. In the front row, we've got Josh Aloyai, Jazz Tavanga, Martin Tapao. And in the back row, we've got Luciano Leilua, Michael Cheekham, and Raymond Faitala Mariner. I'm pretty happy with the selections. I was hoping that they wouldn't chuck a bunch of uh, over-the-hill players in there, but it's a pretty decent team. We've got the Penrith left edge of Luai and Stephen Crichton. Unfortunately, no Brian Toll, but David Nofoluma is a decent winger in his own right, also being accompanied by uh, Luciano Leilua, so I'm pretty stoked for that left edge. As for our opening pool match, it's going to be one of our hardest matches of our campaign, I reckon. Uh, let's be honest, there's only three real huge threats to us, and that is New Zealand, Tonga, and of course Australia. And before we jump into the action, shout out to the gang if you're watching this right now. Be sure to hit up that comment section with the hashtag OddSquad. And here we go, the World Cup opener going up against the Kiwis. I was kind of hoping that Chanel Harris Tavita would be available for oh, us, yeah. but apparently he is on the bench for the Kiwis as Roger Tuivasa-Shek opens the game with some decent footwork to get around a couple defenders here. Not a great start defensively for us. Um, ideally, I would love to have Milford at fullback, Harris Tavita at seven. But uh, like I said, we had to make do with what oh, we got. Yeah. And Roger Tuivasa Shek once again beats the first defender with ease. And he has wrapped up five out, two tackles to go. New Zealand with a heck of a start here. Manu Mao, haven't seen that name in quite a while. Looks like he'll get the first try of the tournament here for the Kiwis. And there it is. Manu Mao just powers his way past the efforts of Jazz Tavanga. And the Kiwis are on the board straight away. Jeez, what a set and what a what a nice couple of runs from the Kiwi skipper. Roger Tui versus Sheik Kieran Foran taking the shots at goal. Not gonna lie, I am struggling a bit here with the Samoa in attack, especially as we try and work our way down the short side. But the Kiwis number up well. We'll be trying to clear it from just inside our half of the field here. While sitting on the 40 actually is Jerome Luai, we throw up a bomb. Interesting kick choice as we try and put a hit on Hiku. We do hit him, oh, but he holds yeah. on to the ball as David Fusitua this time gets around one defender, gets a offload away. Asafa Solomona plays it, they go for the quick pass from the ruck, and it actually floats forward, a bit of good luck for us. Something we definitely needed, still need to somehow create our own luck. Hopefully we can do that on the back of the scrum. As we send it to Jermaine Asako, goes flat to Steve Crichton. I was hoping Luai would trail right up on his left shoulder, but we'll call for it nonetheless down the short side. Luai draws in one, David Nofoluma. Bit of space down the sideline. And in the 30, we'll be, we'll be getting a crack at their line, surely. As Jerome Luai does well to hold on to it. After copping a bit of a whack. Asako. Middle of the field. Nothing doing. Looking pretty deep to the right here. And we go there. Tapao. Chikam. Out to Joey Leilua. And again. We run into a dead end. Fifth and last. First attacking kick. As we try to run it. Try something different. Manumau. Straight through. Aloya gets caught sliding. Hate when that happens, but Mao gets an offload away to listen our Mao. They're just breaking tackles at will. Are uh, these Kiwi boys offloading much the same as well as Corey Hadawira Naida? We'll get wrapped up around the 20. Hughes running onto it. Takes the tackle, fifth and last. The cheese in that dummy half. As they get out to Corey, and he will get clipped here. In a high tackle with not much time remaining in the half, the Kiwis will take the two from right in front. 
I'm actually thankful for that. I don't think we could hold him out for another set. That was a pretty awkward kick by Kieran Farin. Marmolo on the end of it. We'll be starting our set just outside our 40 here as Herman Esse Esse. That's a beautiful run, a little bump. A bit of PCMs through the middle of the field. Jerome Luai, short and flat. Across the face of Steve Crichton, who will zoom past Tui Vasashek dive under the posts. But we dove a little early here. We'll, we'll check the grounding. I don't think we got there. I mean, we got there, but I think the ball may have been knocked loose, and that is the case here. David Fussy Tour with the try saving tackle. No points still for us as we get the red lights. Lucky break for the Kiwis. Half time, half time. It's been a dominant half for the New Zealand Kiwis. Although being a bit scrappy with ball in hand, it must be said. Defense, not that great either. So we'll take a look at the stats. A quick ease and possession all with the Kiwis. So our first half without controlling the Rabbitohs. And I gotta say the difference is definitely noticeable as we... Ooh. Go on a little shift down the short side. That was looking... That was looking uh, promising. As Luai drops back, we need more of this, more tactical kicking. As Jerome Luai shoots for the corner, we will get the bounce. And the Kiwis just give up on the chase there. Can we score our first points of the match? As we go short side, try and beat Crichton's opposite one on one. Managed to beat Heku, but the cleanup crew was there to save the day as Dunamis Louis runs into a brick wall. Looking decent on the shorts, we send it out to the middle. And Jermaine Isako will get wrapped up center field as we go to Jerome Luai, George Telfor, Telfor to Nofo Luma, and Steve Crichton at the end of a pretty clean looking play. Where was that from? It was uh, something a little different, some, some smooth drawing in and passing. And Steve Crichton slices right through. Definitely worthy of a replay. That try was awesome. It's just speaking about how they weren't as smooth an attack as the Rabbitohs. I don't think I've scored a try with that, that type of setup with the Rabbitohs. I, yeah, I couldn't get it together with the Rabbitohs, but surprisingly, we put one together with Samoa. Need to back up that try with a decent set here as Herman Esse Esse gets us off to a rough start. Driven backwards in the tackle. Top four links off Dunamis Louis. It's a beautiful short ball. And Louis makes about 30 meters. Just inside our half of the field. We go right, Anthony Milford now slicing through the Kiwis. Showing plenty of holes in the defensive line. Third, Chi Cam. Top four on the Raptor, Jerome Luai straight through. And that is our second try of the game. Another beautiful play by our boys in the middle. George Telfour coming off the bench. He's been a bit of a handful since, since coming on. Awesome impact player. An unlikely impact player, to be honest. We honestly just didn't have a, a like backup dummy half or a lock for that matter to chuck on the bench. So we decided to chuck her back in there. Jerome Luai. Riding himself into a bit of a standstill. By Tyler Mariner, George Telfour looking for another short ball. This time they're all over Martin to Pau. As we get it out to Luai, looking for big meters and space, but it's right down the breadbasket of Remy Smith, who breaks the ankles of Anthony Milford. Jermaine Isako giving chase, but that will be a Kiwi try late in the second half here. And from right in front, Kieran Foran will get them back out to a two-point lead. Ten to go in the match. So we D up nicely. We hold them inside their half of the field. Foran kicking from their 40 as Marmalo looks for space. And we'll start our set on the 30. This is a huge set, the clock winding down. A little premature, we send it to Crichton. Been trying to get him one-on-one -on -one with Hiku all night. Second, Sia with the head up and gets laid out. 
as we go flat to Loy. He finds Milford, Milford to Lay Lua. Oh, we had the overlap. Couldn't get out to Mau Malo. I don't think we go for the kick here. As we look for Loy. Draws it in, gets it to Steve Crichton through the gap, shows it inside. Lofo Luma off the fend on Manu Mau. And that try should win the game. What an opening game to our Rugby League World Cup campaign. Let's take another look at that try here. As we float one out to Loi, we just need to get it into their hands. Shows it once, feeds it to Crichton. Crichton, I was going to float it back into the middle, but we found off for Luma. Thankfully, he was able to fend off Mano Mau. Otherwise, that would have been the game, I reckon. As Anthony Milford, a little cherry on top, gets us up to 18 points. The Kiwis, 14. Full time, full time. That is all she wrote. Game one of the Rugby League World Cup. We come away with a win, a much needed win against the Kiwis. The road doesn't get any easier as I believe we do have the Tongans in the next game, Matema Atonga. But as always, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more Rugby League Life 4 content or more content in general, be sure to run share that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you, you, you. later.